So if I'm suffering from pattern hair loss, can I also develop alopecia areata at the same time? The answer is yes. As long as you still have hair left on your head, you can develop any conceivable combination of hair disorders. Now, by far the most common of these is pattern hair loss, androgenetic alopecia. And the second most common, at least in men, is alopecia areata. So this is the combination you're more likely to see in men. It's actually estimated that around 2% of people with androgenetic alopecia will also suffer from alopecia areata at some point. For example, you can see in this photograph a man in his 30s that has both types of hair loss. The androgenetic alopecia is the diffuse hair loss you see all over the top and crown of the head. And overlapping it is the well-defined patch of alopecia areata, which is completely bald. This patch is more severe, but also more likely to make a complete recovery. Before we close, one more thing if you're considering having a hair transplant and have a history of alopecia areata. There is an increased chance that this could come back after the surgery. So this is something to bear in mind when you're weighing the pros and cons of having a transplant.